This conference will now be recorded. All right. So this is one of the frequently asked question in many of the interviews. All right. So we just need to know this question definitely uh, while we are facing the interviews because out of five interviews, definitely at least two interviews will have this question. Okay. So what is the difference between call, branch and queue method in activity? Okay. So let's go to the demonstration to explain this question. So I will, I'm going to have an activity created. Let's say activity A and default work class. Okay, and I'm going to call another activity from current activity. Let's name this as activity V. And let's have a property set over here. And let's have some information. Activity A ends here. Okay, and save this. And since it is referencing activity B, I need to have another activity created, activity B. Okay, and creating the second activity. And here, I would like to have an exception raised. So OBJ open my handle, I'm going to have it so that I'm going to purposefully have an exception raised for this. So because the difference comes when there is an exception over here. So that is the reason purposefully I'm having an exception created. Okay. All right. So I'm just having OBJ open my handle with the null and I can pass some step page as well. So I'm going to have a OBJ open my handle passing some instance handle as null so that it raises an exception and here activity B ends. Okay. So now come back to activity A and run this activity A. For our understanding, let's keep a tracer as well. And run this. So if you see the tracer, so I'm highlighting the things. So here after completion of activity B, so activity B is completed, okay? So after activity B is completed, you have an exception raised at step one, okay? And after step one, there is an exception which is raised and there's a step two in the activity B it executes, okay? Irrespective of there is an exception that it raised raises in the activity B, the subsequent steps in activity a executed okay so subsequent steps where you see the step two in activity a is also executed here okay now in such scenario all right so this is for the calling an activity all right so let's go back to the scenario where if i have used it the branch option Okay, so let's the same scenario with a branch option if I'm calling this activity B. Okay, and now if I'm running this activity, so the there is an exception that it got raised, but if you see the difference between these two, so there is an exception raised over here. Okay, so in the second step, you, it executes in the activity B. And after that, the control is not returned back to activity A. Okay, so activity A also ended at this moment itself. Whenever there is an exception occurs, so in such scenario, by using the branch option, the control is not guaranteed to return to the calling activity. So activity A is the calling activity, okay, and activity B is the called activity. Okay, so whenever we are calling activity 
uh, whenever we are calling the activity B via branch option and if there is an exception occurs then the control is not returned back to activity A and that is the reason the step 2 didn't execute it. Whereas if you go with the activity call option so there was a step, step two executed in the activity A because the call will have the control returned. Okay, so even respective of there is an exception occurs. So the control is returned back to the calling activity A and the subsequent steps executes over here. Okay, so that is the difference between call and branch. All right, I hope you are clear so far. So whenever we, the question comes so we just need to specify the control is not guaranteed in case of branch method okay whereas the control is guaranteed to return to the calling activity in case of call option all right so whenever whenever there is an exception occurs so there is the control is not going to come back to the calling activity in case of a branch method now let's go to the queue method all right, and now I'm saving this via queue. So here, whenever we are calling the activity via queue and we want to see the tracer, in such scenario, you need to enable this asynchronous activity in the events in the tracing settings. Okay, so asynchronous activity option we need to enable to see the asynchronously called. So queue is basically the background processor. So it is going to run in the background. Okay, so it is going to run in a separate thread in the background. Okay, so it, it is not like a call or branch, which is calling in a sequential way, but the queue is altogether running in the background. Okay, so let's take a tracer and you will see the difference. Okay, so you see here the activity B is, is executed via queue method and whenever the queue method is called so there is no steps that it displays which is executed via activity b okay so since i have enabled the asynchronous activity event type in the tracer i can see this step is visible over here and now if i click on this queue activity you can see here these are the steps that it executes so here you can see the second tracer opens okay where the activity B is displayed over here. So activity B execution steps you can see in a separate tracing window. Okay, so Q is completely a parallel window, parallelly executed thread. Okay, so parallelly the sequential step, the steps which are called via the Q method. So those are executed in parallel to the calling activity. Okay, mm -hmm. and the result is not dependent on the activity call okay so if you are dependent on any of the response which is there in activity b that is not coming inside this activity a okay so that is the difference so if you are dependent on the response which is coming from the activity b then in that scenario you will go with call or branch if in case you doesn't rely on the response which is executed which are dependent on the steps which are executed in this activity so in such scenario you will go for a queue so that it runs in the background okay so simply uh, for the interview say we can just say that the parallel thread it executes in a background all right 